So let me get this straight. You get judged if you do it too much. And if you don't do it at all? Wow, I haven't done a vlog in over a week, so good afternoon, everyone. Today we will talk about a very mysterious creature, the rare and elusive virgin. Such an unusual creature with a lack of sexual habits. Approximately, I'm not sure when it was, maybe three to four years ago, three of my buddies and I, uh, we were sleeping over in someone's house. We were about, uh, mid-teens, maybe? 14, 15, somewhere around that range. And everybody knows that teenagers are so awed and amazed and flabbergasted by the concept of sex. Yeah, like it's a concept that for, you know, kids like that is really taboo. So in other words, it's like forbidden fruit in a sense, since we want to know more about it, we're curious. Yeah, like young teenagers see it as something amazing, stupendous. If you do it, you are a fucking star. Holy shit, I digressed. But anyways, but anyways. So uh, four of us got together at a friend's house and we made this bet. Well, it was more of a, well, it was more of a pact sort of thing. But anyways, we agreed that, well, uh, we bet that the first person to lose their virginity would get $100 from everybody. Therefore, the winner would get $300. It's interesting, though, how some of us... Like, we weren't really adamant about winning it. Uh, but it, it was still something that, you know, we had uh, in the back of our minds. And there's always the person that was in the lead. For example, somebody who is talking to a girl or having a girlfriend or seeing someone, you know, stuff like that. Granted, you know, it's a stupid, you know, middle school, early high school bet, but <laughs> there are $300 at stake. That's good college money. <laughs> you know, I honestly don't give a damn about my virginity, but a lot of people seem to be very frustrated about not having had sex yet. I mean, granted, it feels great, or it should feel great, it looks like it feels great. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Yeah, there's also the people that judge other people for being virgins. Why? Yeah, like I said, I mentioned earlier, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was vlog 22 where I talked about uh, slut shaming, but there's also virgin shaming, apparently. It isn't as common as slut shaming, but, you know, it exists. Yeah, like there's a whole bunch of assumptions that go along with somebody who hasn't, you know, fucked someone yet, like either they're sexually oblivious, which shouldn't be confused with sexually inexperienced, which is what it is. Being weird, especially at an older age, like late 20s or some, some shit like that. Being desperate or perhaps being a prude. Or, you know, not just not doing it for religious reasons or because it's dirty or mm, whatever. But yeah, it's usually the the ones that are frustrated about it that are desperate and honestly quite angry with themselves because they are still virgins. But yeah, like I think people do get treated differently if they know that somebody is a virgin. That sexual shaming, I mean, it shouldn't really... Like, I don't think it should be that much of a problem. Well, pretty much the only reason why it is a problem is because it makes people feel ashamed of themselves or inadequate losers, basically. I might as well make fun of people for not having ridden on a roller coaster before, or not having a driver's license yet, or maybe for being illiterate. But perhaps another factor that people usually forget uh, is the fact that some people are virgins because they are waiting to, you know, actually do it for the first time with somebody who actually cares about them, you know, someone special. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to wait until marriage, like, which is actually another reason why some people want to preserve their virginities, but yeah, like, just how there's the idea that sex is something empowering and naughty, well, there's also the other idea that sex is something intimate, and because it's so intimate, the ideal person to do it with is somebody who you actually care about. 
and that is a totally acceptable idea. Hell, it's an admirable idea, even, c considering because since it's something that you don't do, you doing it to someone for the first time just makes it, just makes it much more valuable. And considering that people like that do it for the first time in that case, uh, they would rather fuck up, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, with someone that, that they're actually comfortable with than, you know, a hookup or a one-night stand. Because obviously if you're a sexual noob, you obviously want to be forgiven by somebody who wouldn't mind you messing up that way. Just think about it, if you want to lose your virginity through a one-night stand, um, you know, not, there's th not that there's anything wrong with that, but if the other person knows that, you know, you're doing that, she will definitely think that you're desperate for one. And oftentimes, you know, they, they just don't want to feel responsible for, for being so sexually experienced and taking away the virginity of somebody who is the contrary, the opposite. Unless, of course, they're really adventures like that and, or just simply don't give a fuck by giving a fuck to a virgin. <laughs> At least someone, someone who's sensibly promiscuous would think that way. Yeah, like if I were to have like sex like every one or two weeks or something, like through one night stands and stuff like that, and if and if a virgin girl were to, you know, approach me and asking for the same thing, and if she says that, you know, I'd be like, uh, are you sure? <laughs> but yeah, like there's a whole idea that the first time should be, you know, a special time. Yeah, but, like, really, that should be up for, you know, you guys to decide, you know, if you haven't done it yet. Ah, I've got some serious bedhead going on up in here. I mean, it's just sex, kiddos. Like, it isn't like the Nobel Prize, or becoming president, or winning the lottery, or any similar achievement. It's just an experience. I mean, granted, you know, an experience that includes fantastic orgasms. Uh, by the way, I don't want to talk so loud because uh, my sister invited her friend over and she's literally one room away. Like, if you want my opinion about you know, me being a virgin, you know, I just haven't given a fuck. Boom. Yeah, like, you know, if it happens, it happens. And I'll enjoy it when it happens. And if it doesn't, well, it doesn't. And there's no reason to be frustrated for something that you haven't done yet. And please, don't make fun of somebody because they haven't done it yet. I mean, that's stupid. You haven't done a lot of things either. They may or may not have their reasons, and if they do, you know, just respect it. And if they do, you know, just respect it. It's not that hard. So yeah, don't slut shame, don't virgin shame, don't anybody shame because of what they do or what they don't do or how they do their sexual activities with whoever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Take care and kick ass, kiddos. Uh, well, I'm about to sleep, but before I do that, let me just say a quick update. Right as I finished filming, I got a call to hang out with some friends. And, uh... I kid you not, right after I talk about it, one of those friends won the bet. <laughs> Talk about speaking of the devil. Like, I'm glad for the guy, cause like he actually did it with his girlfriend. Like an actual girlfriend. Like we were all scouring for hookups on random... Yeah, like... Not quite noble ways of, you know, looking for something like that. And he described it as something, and he described, you know, sex, you know, losing his virginity as something overrated. That's harder than it looks, but nevertheless overrated. And it was nice, though, because uh, he, he said that the girl he was doing it with, you know, his girlfriend, was also a virgin. So, it was a very new and interesting experience for both of them. And I'm glad. Albeit I'm losing a hundred dollars. <laughs> However, he is being very, very generous. And he is offering the other three of us our one hundred dollars back if we, come, if we come in second place. But there is a catch for every month that we go without sex. $10 will be deducted 
from the $100 redemption, I guess you could say. So, you know, if we do it in the... Okay, like right now, it's the month of August. And if we do it in August, we get the $100 back. But if we do it in September, we get the $90. In October, $80, and so on. Oh, tis life. But both of them gave each other the opportunity, and both of them seized the day. And not only that, but there's also the idea that, you know, even having this bet for the entirety of high school, and it just ended right before we leave to college. So, yeah, like, that's just another reason why our high school lives just, you know, come to a close. Alright, so, take care and kick ass, kiddos.